Well, ahoy, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably a very unnecessary way to start this video, but three days ago, I got dinner with my girlfriend and her mother. We got Mexican food, and I didn't finish my entire burrito because I'm weak and pathetic. But tonight, it was left over in my fridge, and I was pretty hungry, so I decided to eat it, and then I started feeling very unsure about my decision because I didn't know if the burrito was still good or not. So I texted my girlfriend's mom and asked her if she thought it was still good, in which she replied, No, definitely, probably not. But, if you take a shot of tequila, it'll probably kill all the bad bacteria. Now listen, I'm no scientist, but I don't know about that. Seems like a very interesting way to kill bacteria, but I'm not one to be opposed to taking a shot of tequila. So I replied, hey, it's a good enough reason for me to take a shot of tequila. So, we're starting this narration off right. They stress me out anyway, so what better way to calm the nerves and kill some bad burrito bacteria than with a shot of tequila. That might be more than one shot. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoy the video. Walk around Tacoma on a nice, lovely, foggy evening and shoot some long exposures. Got some pictures that I'm really, really excited for. Cheers. <laughs> hope you enjoy. All right, first thing I'm framing up is got a street light, car underneath it, and a beautiful red building off the right side. I'm really liking how the three elements play together in the frame, so I think we can make this work. A little bit of something, my dear. All right, we got F4 at one second. Might be slightly on the side of overexposure, but Portrait 800 does handle that like a champ. No mirror lockup on the Bronica. Sad day. All right, here we go. Beautiful leaf shutter glass. Gotta love it. Next, we got a picture of a gas station. Sue me. I'm just gonna wait for these people to clear out though, because I just want a gas station by itself with a red light showing. I think that matches the mood a little bit better. All right, here we go. Nobody at the gas station. F4 at 1 15th of a second. Oh no, come on, come on. No car. No! Oh, that'd actually be pretty cool if it was a cool car, not a fucking RAV4. Nobody pull into the gas station, please. Oh, I would just fucking blow. Wait, this is actually kind of cool. Got like a, got like a little JDM situation going on over here. I kind of like it. All right, fuck it. I'm doing it. I actually don't mind that. I think that car in that situation adds to the frame. I don't know why, but I love this building. And the street light on it is just looking absolutely gorgeous. The color, that deep red, and, the, and then the fog too. It's like a perfect combination. So taking another photo of it, this time from the other side. I actually might take a couple more just because I'm really digging how this is looking. Well, that's good timing. Car's leaving, I didn't want it in the frame anyway. That is pretty nice. Actually, I might have wanted the car in the frame. I can't quite tell. Maybe we'll do 5.6 at one second. Well, something I just now noticed, looking up at the street light, there is a really defined and beautiful spider web being illuminated by the light. I wish I had a tighter lens for this shot, but I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoot it and then I can do a crop on it later if I need to, because I'm getting some of the red building in the backdrop which i don't really want in there i want this to be a more isolated picture but 
I can always just crop in on it. So I think I'm gonna snag it and see how it turns out. It might be kind of cool. All right, here we go for F5.6 at one fourth of a second. Well, unfortunately, this picture turned out nowhere near as cool as I thought it would. Even if I tried to do a crop on it, the spider web just isn't defined enough to make that work. And I'm bummed that the red building is in the bottom left side of the frame because I think it's very distracting. Had that building not been there and it just be the the street light and the bright li bright golden light, I think it would be kind of more minimalistic. It'd have that simpler element going for it. And I think it'd just be more dramatic and abstract and overall a cooler picture to look at. All right, I'm reaching the limit of the exposure options here on the uh, Bronica. We got uh, F four at six seconds and that includes the reciprocity pretty dark scene but i think it's really cool this tree is really interesting so here we go hopefully it's focused Wow. Well, I felt that was the only way to properly handle the result of that image. I find it absolutely hilarious that in the video clip, you can clearly hear me say I'm going to take the picture at six seconds. We got a F4 at six seconds. And yet when I press the shutter down and it does not fire for anywhere near six seconds. Love the chimney finder on the Bronica. I walk away super confident and like nothing happened at all. So you can just get super accurate exposures. It didn't even register in my head that that was not six seconds, which I find absolutely comical. So what I ended up doing is, is setting it for one sixth of a second and not six seconds. I make a mistake like this every time I go out and shoot just because when you're trying to frame up pictures and get the settings right and then go get the video clip and everything, things get discombobulated and I just get confused and overwhelmed and sometimes I forget to change my settings on my camera. It happens and I'm not even that bummed about it because I got a lot of other good photos from the evening. But I did kind of do some color correction and try to give a good glimpse as to what the overall composition would have looked like. I think it would have been pretty cool, but like I said, I can't complain because the other photos from the evening damn well make up for it. All right, one third of a second, F4. A lot of fog on this one. Ah, oh, shit. That actually would have been cool with those tail lights in there if I was ready for it. Man, I feel like this picture had potential to be really, really cool. I still think it's a fascinating image, but I just shot it at a bit of an awkward shutter speed to have that car passing through the frame like that. I wish I had shot it at a longer shutter speed because that would have allowed some red streaking to go from the right side towards the center of the frame. It would have added a nice leading lines element and just kind of made the picture overall more mysterious. I think the way that it's shot at this uh, faster shutter speed makes it seem like the camera was shaking or makes it seem like just something is a little bit off. It doesn't look like a sharp and, and intentional photo. All right, well, a very successful first stop. All of the pictures that I just took are basically in within a 50 yard radius of each other. So definitely picked a good little intersection and spot to come shoot some pictures because there was just a lot of interesting subjects and a lot of cool compositions just in this one little area. Now, hop in the car, take off, and see what else we can find. Oh, this is incredibly cool. Fire hydrant, tree, with all these very pointy branches and light beams coming through from the street light. This should be pretty sweet. All right, F8, one second on this one because I wanna make sure this fire hydrant is relatively in focus. The last two videos I've filmed shooting pictures at night, I feel like the photos kinda of got a little bit better as the, as the evening progressed. And I think this image is a testament to that exactly. Really, really stoked on this one. Everything came together pretty much exactly as I pictured it would. That light is just beautiful through the fog, creating those cool light beams and passing through that tree, giving it this very kind of cool silhouetted effect. 
and that fire hydrant off to the right there balances the photo very nicely. I think it's exactly the way that I imagined it would come out. Really, really pleased with the result on this picture, and this will definitely be one that I'm getting a big old print of. Here we got a little F5.61 second action going on here. I'm trying to balance this frame uh, with stop sign, street light, and fence on the right side. Three elements work nicely, kind of make up the entirety of the frame. So all the street lights just look so cool tonight in the fog. It's it's pretty pretty sweet. I think this photo is fun to break apart because there's three main elements that make this image work and that's really the reason why I shot it. You have the stop sign on the left side of the frame and then the fence and the plants or trees off to the right side of the frame. Those two elements make up the photo as a whole subject wise. Right, so without either of those I think the balance of the image is way off. So those are really necessary in the frame and, and while the street light I feel like you could go without the post in the center of the frame and it would be uh, compositionally speaking a better photo you can't have it not in the frame because that's where the light source is coming from and the color and the light of this picture is the majority of the reason why it works on top of the street, uh, the street sign the stop sign and then the fence and the plants on the right side so yeah I think it's kind of cool that you can't have one without the other when it comes to all three subjects in this frame got a one-fourth at f5.6 on this one. I really like the front porch light and then I like the landscaping in front of this house. This is another photo that I'm quite pleased with. I was originally going to shoot it straight ahead, just a straight on view of the house, but I decided to move over to an angle at the last minute and I'm really glad that I did because I think it adds a little bit more of a dynamic vantage point for the viewer. And of course that warm glow with the porch light is what originally drew me to this subject and I love the way that it just barely defines that large shrub off to the left side of the frame. I think it's just a mysterious photo and the color is just beautiful. This one's going to be f5.6 out of third. So like I previously mentioned, I feel like the pictures just kept getting better and better as the night progressed, and I really, really love this photo. It's one of my favorites from the evening. And I think there's three main elements in this picture that make it work as well. There's the two subjects, which are the tree and the fence, and then the entourage of colors going on in the background that kind of guide your eye through the frame. And I love the reflection off the cement in the foreground. I think that adds a nice little touch. But yeah, this is just a, a fun, colorful picture. I think there's a lot to look at, even though there's only kind of two main subjects. So a bit of an interesting one, but also maybe the most fun from the evening. All right, well, this house is really cool. There's a couple old trucks in the driveway and a lot of hanging str uh, string lights in the fog or they're just glowing like crazy it's really really cool this is uh, that's that all natural pro mist filter right there I love it but this one I'm gonna shoot uh, this old Toyota van with a big tree I'm really liking these uh, big trees with no leaves on them they look very ominous I think they fit the foggy kind of mood real well so take this frame and then I'm gonna take one of one of the trucks in the driveway I think and then Call it a night. This one, F5.6 at one and a half seconds. All right, last one of the night. Here we go. F5.6 at one third. And here we have the last frame, potentially my favorite. It's just a lot of fun elements coming to work to make something that's colorful and that seems like it was 
shot in the same universe as Stranger Things or Euphoria or maybe a fusion between the two. The string lights glowing in the fog up on the top third of the frame just provide the, that warm glow that you see throughout the picture and add a beautiful element to look at. And then the main subject, that old Ford truck, bright, kind of a cherry red color, just perfect for this situation. And then you get those beautiful greens kind of flowing throughout the frame as well. And then the, the light reflection off of the sidewalk just provides a nice kind of color splash in that section of the image as well. Overall, I feel like this is one of the coolest pictures I've ever taken in the evening time. It's definitely one of my favorite long exposures I've ever shot, and maybe just in general one of my favorite pictures, just because it seems like it's on the set of a movie. It doesn't even seem like you'd see this on just the side of the road or in somebody's front yard, but on this evening I happened to do just that. So very fortunate that I came across this scene and was able to capture it and nail the exposure. God, I love that Bronica. And that is a wrap, folks. All right, guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty buzzed right now. And that's because I had to film the intro bit where I took the shot of tequila and the middle bit where I shotgunned the beer twice because the first time I did it, the microphone was off for both of those takes. And I was like, well, I have the camera audio, but it's shit. And I didn't want to use that because I didn't want to make you suffer through that terrible audio quality. So I redid it with the good audio from this microphone. I hope it was worth it because I am absolutely blasted. But I just wanted to end this video by saying if you'd like to come to Iceland in 2023 and probably have the best time of your life, you should definitely join us February 10th through the 17th. We're going to two national parks, the Blue Lagoon. We're hopefully seeing the Northern Lights. We're going on a coastal walk. We're doing a geothermal bath. We're going to waterfalls. We're going to hot springs. And I'm doing a little informal nighttime photography workshop where I'm going to show you how I go through my process of shooting film at night and doing long exposures. We're going to talk about film stocks, reciprocity, and my entire process. So it'll sh it should be a lot of fun. But that being said, you don't even have to be interested in photography to come on this trip. If you're interested in traveling and meeting some new rad people, you should definitely consider coming. There's more information in the description below. You can check out the itinerary and reserve your spot. There's financing options available. And there should be early bird spots left as well, so you can save 150 bucks on the overall trip price. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. But like I said, I would really love to have you join me and everybody else on this trip. So. Iceland 2023. I will see you there and I will see you guys when I see you on the next video whenever that is, which will probably be next week. Everybody have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it is. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Catch you when I catch you. Peace. Oh no, it's all over my new Mac. Oh shit, stop. No. Oh god. Oh, I'm doused in beer. <sighs> wow.